Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I was just watching a video that Nick Wright did because I found out through Johnny Candido that Nick Wright was getting into powerlifting, and I'm very thrilled to hear that because Nick does have a solid work ethic, and I think he will make a very good powerlifter if he applies that work ethic to his training 100%. So welcome to the Brotherhood, Nick. We will teach you the secret handshake as soon as you get your first meet out of the way. Now, speaking of this, Nick did something. He made a comment, and it's something I want to address because this is something I get people who ask me about all the time because they notice my novice program always has you deadlift after you squat. They'll notice that even when I'm pulling pretty heavy, just like when I've done work sets with 530 and things without a belt, and I'm repping that out on the deadlift, I always do that after squatting. And so people ask, should you be doing that? Why are you doing that? And as Nick pointed out, it is a hell of a lot harder to deadlift after you squat. So why would you do it? And the reason is because as far as a competitive deadlift goes, if you're going to be a power lifter, you're not going to be in a situation to where you're going to get to deadlift fresh. You're going to squat and you're going to bench press before you deadlift. And if you are not used to doing the deadlift after you squat, it doesn't matter what you hit in the gym. And what you find is that guys who split their squats and their deadlifts into different days when they train they cannot hit their gym deadlifts at a meet. They'll set a PR at a meet. They'll walk into a meet and they will hit a PR, better lifts than they have hit on the squat in the gym. And when they get to their deadlift, they'll lose 20 or 30 pounds over what they were doing in the gym three weeks before the meet. And the reason is because they're not used to doing it. They haven't built up the strength stamina to do a heavy pull after they fatigue themselves with max squatting. And for someone who is going to compete in powerlifting, this is something that you need to take into consideration. You need to realize that if your gym lifts do not reflect the competitive environment, you're not going to hit at a meet what you hit at the gym. If you're used to touch and go benching, and particularly benching fresh without squatting before it, and you have to pause bench, guess what? Your gym lifts aren't going to help you. What you're hitting in the gym is not going to be reflective of what you're going to hit at a meet. And the same thing, if you deadlift fresh, you might actually hit a 600 pound deadlift at the gym in your training and then when you get to a meet you might miss a 550 pound deadlift because you're not used to pulling when you're fatigued. So if you're going to compete in powerlifting, this is something you need to keep in mind. You very much want to consider doing most if not all of your pulling after you have done squats. Otherwise you're going to be in for a big shock when you get to your deadlifts at an event. And as Nick just found out, yeah, if you're not used to it, it's a lot harder. You're going to be shocked at how much weaker you are if you aren't used to it. But once you get used to it, you will be surprised at how strong you actually get on the deadlift once you're used to doing it, fatigued from squatting already. All right, guys, so that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time. But go check out the video that I posted below of Nick finally getting into his powerlifting, and I actually really look forward to seeing where he goes with it. All right, guys, so that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time. But let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go.